Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. This is the daily chart from ClarkMoody.com. You can see we're hovering at about 903 on the Mt. Gox price. We're going to look at the Bitstamp price here in a second. If we go down to market depth, we can see we've got almost 26,000 coins on the offer. And that's quite a bit of an increase from that low of around 19,000 that we saw. So there's still coins coming on to be sold. The key 10,000 point that we're looking at is hovering around 1,000 on the ask and it's about 750 on the bid. So the midpoint of those is going to be about 875. That's about 30 bucks from where we're trading. So over to Bitcoin Wisdom. Now I had put a chart on the blog for the Bitstamp price and marking out that 765 price being a very key technical support point. You can see it was the high on this spike over here back in November. It was also the breakout point right here when we broke out of the pennant back in late December, early January. And then it's been tested once here and now just recently tested again when I posted that chart. We didn't break down below it. A breakdown below that would have meant would have meant a fairly strong resumption of a downtrend. You can see we bounced off it and we're starting to round up. We're sitting about 812 at Bitstamp. Now over at Mt. Gox, we don't have exactly the same technicals here. The equivalent price on Mt. Gox would be about this eight. 60 price and it's close we bounced off it and it's still kind of drifting down on Mt. Gox so the high on Mt. Gox was about a hundred dollars higher than it was on Bitstamp I'm not really sure what the reason is for that you can see at 905 that hundred dollar price difference remains again I'm not sure why that is I'm not sure why arbitrage hasn't taken that out if we go over to BTCE, you can see we're at 821. So that's almost halfway between those two. Why is there such a price difference on these exchanges? I don't know the answer to that question. You would think with the money that can flow that they would be arbitrage to be very close to each other. But my best guess is it has to do with the ability to get dollars in and out of the exchange, not Bitcoin because Bitcoin is very easy to withdraw or deposit on any exchange. Obviously, the dollars or euros or rubles or whatever sovereign currency you're using is going to be the hard thing to transmit. So I don't know the exact reason. If any of you know that reason and have a better explanation of that, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Now, I wanted to talk about what's going on with dog coin, or some people have called it doggy coin, or doge. It doesn't really matter to me, so I'll just call it dog coin. Now, we had a significant rally in the coin today. If you look at, this is cryptocurrency market cap, and this includes the ones like MasterCoin and uh, Ripple that can't be mine. But you can see, even with those included, dog coin is now up to eighth place in the market cap about 17.7 .7 million dollars you can also see that as far as volume on the day you can see Bitcoin came in at an 18 million dollar volume now don't quote any of these because a lot of these tend to be old information and not completely accurate but just for comparison purposes you can see that the volume in dollars the dollar volume of Bitcoin is, of course, going to be number one. But down here, just behind Litecoin at $5 million, you've got Dogcoin at almost $3 million and a 41% gain over the last 24 hours. So what is going on with this coin? I think it's important because this coin is going to be an example of the potential that altcoins have. Can an altcoin succeed and what does it take for an altcoin to succeed? Now, the unique thing about dogcoin is that it's got a very large, well, it's not unique, but it's uh, different than Bitcoin. Dogcoin has about 
a hundred million or a hundred billion I'm sorry a hundred billion coins to be mined you can see that roughly a third of those have been mined so it's behind Bitcoin in that sense which has more than half the total supply already mined but as far as a factor of number of coins it's going to be about a 5,000 fold difference once all the coins are mined they're going to be about 5,000 more dog coins than there will be bitcoins now if we did an analysis just based upon saying that the two are equal obviously that's not the case but if it were the case that the network effect with dog coin and the mining network and the power of the exchange network where different vendors are offering things if those were all equal in the two coins and they were equal in value then that would give dog coin roughly five thousandth the value of bitcoin and if we i did the math earlier it comes to about 18 cents a coin if that total 100 billion is out there and the total 21 million bitcoins are out there at the current price so doing that math we get about 18 cents a coin you can see we're at point oh 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 five seven it's gonna be about a 350 fold factor so if this price and that's 57 that's a little old we did have a spike up though uh, if we did the math here then dogcoin would have to move 350 fold from where it is to match Bitcoin as far as price now is that possible that's going to be the question obviously it's nowhere close to that in network effect or anything else popularity but they've done a very good job in hyping this coin so what does that mean well we want to look at coin wars first of all and take a look at the mining profitability these are always ranked in terms of mining profitability you can see tag coins up at the top eighteen dollars per day dog coins down here at about half that but it's in third place if you go down and look at some of the coins at the bottom of the list you can see that it's not even profitable to mine a lot of these some of these are actually negative so here's zeta coins nine cents a day unobtainium 13 cents a day asic coins 16 cents let's look at litecoin bitcoin is here at 26 cents a day Catcoin, which just came out recently, is three bucks. So a lot of these smaller altcoins are still more profitable. Litecoin is up here at about seven bucks a day. That's surprising that Litecoin is still that profitable. So when a coin gets up to the top of the list, obviously the law of supply and demand is co going to come into effect, and more people are going to mine it that's going to have a tendency to cause more coins to be mined that's going to increase the hashing power and ultimately it's going to increase the difficulty you can see this first chart is the difficulty and you can see the difficulty on dog coin is going up quite rapidly all of that is going to have a negative effect on price and profitability and so that's how it all balances itself out so the question is how does an altcoin become successful will any of the altcoins besides the big ones bitcoin litecoin will they become successful well one of the things that's really important if you look on bitcointalk.org you have a forum for announcing ann and this is where people announce the altcoins that they're putting out now the announcement for dogcoin was very well done a lot of these aren't well done this one was very well done all the information is here the total number of coins the block time what the rewards are all the related websites the download links for the wallets there's the faucet there's gambling that was already set up giveaways all the mining pools are there a lot of mining pool information if you do a comparison on bitcointalk.org you really don't see this type of organization 
they had Vercurex and coined up BTER and Cripsy, CoinZ, all these exchanges have the coin and there's newbie guides for it and then of course there's the YouTube promotions so you can see that this thread actually has 561 entries a lot of people interested in this coin and ultimately that's going to be what creates the value is the number of people interested in the coin let's look real quick at the video promo I think it's very well done Set, do the impossible got you on a bad cause a lot of things change we be waiting if you think if you wanna get by no pain no gain wow Vicky's wanna test me again sorry my rhyme's gonna start to bring your I'm still stormy for the straight up skill we gonna make it happen with a crazy rap skill get ready to run roll now be the time uh -huh. if you ain't no now you know second verse dedicates to the real peeps what we gotta say is so real thing cause Revolution ain't never gonna televise Kicking a map, whoa, microphone phenotype Opening third eye, seeing through the overground I'm about to hit you with a scream from the underground Whole city's covered with a cyber flavor Jeez in your area, but not with the top best Do the impossible, see the invisible Bro, bro, fight the power Touch the untouchable, break the unbreakable Bro, bro, fight the power What you gonna do is what you wanna do Just break the rules So you gotta love that. That's uh, very entertaining, very funny, and that sort of thing actually does have value. So when you see a coin that's that well done, that's that well released, it's not surprising that it has such popularity. Now, the volume that traded today was approximately 3% of all the outstanding coins. That's very, very large volume. The chart is rising. Now, I told you before that I got into Dogcoin back when it was first released. I bought in early, wrote it up, sold out, bought it again, sold out again, and I was very tempted to buy it when it was down around 29 or 290, I think the price was. And now you can see we're on a rally. So it seems that that sort of hype is paying off by making fun of itself, and that's pretty much what the promoters of Dogcoin have done. They've made it very popular. They've made a lot of people interested in it. A lot of people are now mining it. And that's the type of network effect that it's going to take for any alt currency to succeed. Of course, all of the alts, if they're valid, if they work, if there aren't flaws in them, then they're going to have much of the value that Bitcoin has. And that's the ability to transmit value from one place on Earth to another without any intervening third party with very little overhead and in very short amounts of time. That's ultimately the value of any cryptocurrency. So any good cryptocurrency is going to have the ability to do that. The other issues about vendors being online and buying and selling, that's going to have to be adoption and nothing's going to rival Bitcoin. Only Litecoin is going to come up in that space. Now the issue of how how can vendors who've adopted Bitcoin, how easy will it be for them to adopt other coins? I don't think it'll be that difficult. So 
I'm pretty bullish on Dogcoin right now. I'm not buying it, but I'm very impressed with the people who marketed it and what they've done. It looks like it has found a bottom. It has a third of that hundred billion out there now, and they're trading at a very, very high volume. There's a lot of interest and there's a lot of miners. So it very well could be one of the altcoins that's going to succeed. We'll just have to wait and see, and we'll talk to you next time.